Kitchener, Ontario native Siki Jez is a dominant force for the Ryerson Rams women's basketball team. Even though the fifth year senior didn't start playing competitively till grade eight, she did have one big advantage. Basketball was in her blood. My dad's basketball background is he used to play um, on a left team, so it's kind of like a provincial team. Um, so he played there for four years, but uh, it was kind of a difficult time. Like he would con he would have continued basketball like after that, but he couldn't because like the war in Yugoslavia was going on. Siki's relationship with her dad is a special one. Not only has he instilled a number of integral qualities that have guided her to success, he's also been her mentor and coach, both on and off the court. My dad is, um, like, first of all, my number one fan, um, but he, like, he is the least laziest person I know. Like, he's just so very determined, hardworking, and um, it's just something I have kind of looked through, like, my whole life kind of thing. He was always, like, the guy that I looked up to and, like, what I wanted to become. This year, Siki got off to a strong start, leading her team to a 7-2 record. However, midway through the season, disaster struck, and she thought her collegiate career might be cut short. Uh, I sprained my ankle, so it was a very difficult time because as soon as it happened, I thought that my season was over, and I thought that this was it. And it was just so upsetting because I'm in my fifth year, and like literally when I sprained it, I was like a million and one thoughts came through my head, like it's done, it's over. Fortunately for Siki, her dad was there to lend a helping hand, using an unconventional method to help her recover. As soon as he heard that I got injured, he was like, yeah, you need to come back home, like I need to take care of you. And like, <laughs> he comes up with these like weird Serbian theories, I don't know what it is, but he's like, we're gonna put cabbage on your foot. I was home for four to five days and I did it every single day and like, honestly, you don't even understand, it literally did wonders. Like, it healed so much faster, like the swelling was like almost gone by the time like I was finished being home and stuff and like he was literally there by, the, by my side the whole time. The fifth year public health major has led her team into the playoffs as the first seed in the East Division. In her final year, Siki would love nothing more than to help bring Ryerson its first OUA Women's Basketball Championship in school history. Not only for the school and herself, but also for her number one fan. This year is going amazing so far. We've come such a long way, it's crazy. I remember playing at um, Kerr Hall back when we were nothing to literally being ranked number fourth in the country and it's amazing um, to know that he was able to have such a huge impact on me and like, I don't know, I was just able to like um, translate that into this team as well. And every time I play, honestly, obviously I play for myself and my team, but like one of the main reasons I play is for my dad and it's just amazing to know that he was there by my side throughout of it all and yeah. Just cool.